should get moving. What's the plan, Kingsley? Let's get a path cleared. You heard the Sarge. Clear that debris. Lights on the cliff. That's the coastal defense battery. The bridge is well guarded and the bank's too steep. We secure the bridge then. It's our only move. You're the boss. Truck!
Let's move it. Everyone on that transport. Well, that was a fucking kerfuffle. <laughs> hey, Sarge got it done. We're still here, aren't we? I suppose. Eight men standing against the Nazi gun fort. Richard said I'd gone mad. Sometimes a little madness is called for. I think deep down he understood that and realized we were cut from the same cloth. How's it looking, Sergeant? Let's see for yourself. Let's get you the lay of the land. Our targets are the guns housed in those casemates. And we can only get there through a horde of Germans armed to the teeth. That bunker's our way in, but it's packed with MGs. It'll be a hard push. Think you can handle taking out the lower gun? I fancy my chances. First job's getting across that minefield. But that anti-tank dish could be useful. I've got an idea. I'm all ears. We can punch a hole through the mines with those blitzers there. And the bunker will make mince meat out of us as soon as they hear the engines coming. We're going quiet then. No engines. Bail at the last second, let gravity do the work. That should get us to the ditch at least. Well? I love it. But I think you should go first. All right, then. As soon as you hit the ditch, get the men ready. Tommy, you with me? Oh, yeah. Drive through the minefield, take the bunker, strap some thermite to some highly explosive weapons. Piece of piss, Sarge. And you, get a second sun burning in the sky. If our ships don't see that flare, if they don't know we've won, they'll fire on the guns and risk taking us with them. Well, I don't know about you, but I think I'll take very little consolation in knowing that the fire that killed me was friendly. Don't worry, Gov. I won't forget to lay him up. Truck's ready. We'll be right behind you. Godspeed, Kingsley.
Charge! Go, go, go! Forward! Just waiting on you, boss. You take the lowercase, mates. I'll take the upper ones. Don't forget the flare. Let's move up. We're such. All right, boys, this is it. You're on me. Tommy! Try to get back. We need to clear the door. All right, lads. Top of you. With me. That one's tearing us up. Press it fire now. Oh, 
Movements! Take point! Got it, Sarge! <coughs> right to up. I'll cover ahead while you find a torch, Sarge. Bloody hell, it stinks in here! Sarge, torch over here! One down, one to go. That's the last of the thermite. Sarge, I could use your help here. Yeah? Let's get up top before this thing explodes. You have the flare, Sarge? Bombardment's close. Go! Get out and fire the flare! <laughs> Sergeant, the flare! Bombardment's any minute! Damn! Flare's ruptured! God, fucking joking! Where's Webb? There! Lower case, mate! Incoming! Get down! Go for Webb's flare! Get everyone to cover! We need to run for it! Time to take a kip. I was just waiting for some mad bastard to come and save the day. Well, 
Let's you and I signal our boy, shall we? We'd lost our captain, but we'd won the day. And we'd honored the memory of all those we lost the only way we could, by completing the mission. You look at the soldiers under your command and hope that they can do the difficult thing, the impossible thing. That flare told me I'd been right. This is what it means to be a leader. From all the flags waving on the streets, we'd never have known the Nazis were about to lose the war. But bullies are always loudest when they're scared. And when they're desperate, they get stupid. Commander Hermann Freisinger had killed Novak. Then he'd given us a free ride, right into the lion's den. I read the field report twice. This Allied team is fascinating. They have been captured. But it was too close. I want you to find out everything you can about this unit. It will be my pleasure, sir. You will speak of this to no one else and report directly to me. Heil Hitler. What is that smell? Chlorine dioxide. They think it hides the smell of death. So, iron, iron! Ich sag, der bewegt sich! Well, this is the nicest shit all I've ever been in. Is anyone else hungry? Palina, Sienzi is all hiding. Da, let's go to the car. Let me show So, I am Hauptsturmführer Richter and. Piss off, crowd. Unless you got room service for us. And I have questions for you. How are we going to eat bloody questions? I'm the commanding officer. You'll speak with me. Even then, Richter was easy to read. Uniforms at high rank, no combat medals. Office rat. The perfect mark. Surrounded by three guards, all armed and all wankers. In all my years studying the Allies, I have never come across such an unusual unit. Kingsley, Arthur, Lieutenant, service number 25232642. I'll tell you a story. I have spoken with the Führer on exactly one occasion. He recommended a book to me, The Passing of the Great Race, by an American, a man named Madison Grant. The Führer had nothing but praise for him. Fuck Madison Grant, and everyone like him. The book reveals that under extreme duress, or unfavorable conditions your people do not deteriorate so easily. In that moment, I knew what I had to do. Right to the suprasternal notch, below the clavicle. Once we had what we needed from this racist bastard, that's where I would put my knife. My plan began to take shape. We were being held in the basement of Gestapo headquarters. Around and above us was a treasure trove of classified Nazi intelligence. Project Phoenix had to be there somewhere, and Richter was our ticket. He thought he was the interrogator, 
If he was to be of any use to us, he'd have to keep thinking that. That arrogant Nazi in his clean-pressed uniform loved the sound of his own voice. The hard part wouldn't be fooling Richter into spilling what he knew of Project Phoenix. I would like to see for myself. This is not a secret. The hard part would be convincing the others not to kill him first. The Allies somehow knew about Project Phoenix. We must have a traitor amongst the officers. No. I pulled their files. Take care of them with the other non-essentials. <clears throat> Lieutenant Kingsley mentioned a Project Phoenix. Likely Allied propaganda. The Negro thought he was protecting his team. No doubt to prove himself. To make him their leader. The Allies must have been desperate. <laughs> he said it was their first mission. That his sixth man is dead. He's probably lying. I will uncover the truth. But there are other teams like this one. How did they learn of Hamburg? Is Tempelhof at risk of being compromised? These are the things I need to know. There's more at stake here than I'm at liberty to discuss. Just know that I'm counting on you, Herr Richter. I understand. Thank you. So. Well, I see ten fingers. That's a good sign, at least. Now make a bus. I'm fine. Listen. They know about Wade. But they haven't caught him yet. You told him he was killed, didn't you? On the train to Hamburg. I don't think they'll fall for it, but the hope is it'll buy him some time to get us out. He isn't coming back for us. He's right, Kingsley. We can't count on that fucking drone guy. Bring out the girl. She ain't going nowhere, mate. I'll just get out of my way. Boss! Alina, I don't know what you can Every person on this team was a hero in their own right, long before their files ever reached my desk. But to say they were strong personalities would be a vast understatement. Particularly when it came to Petrova. Napolia, have you seen my... Again? It's bad enough I have to wear this thing at all. No, it's flammable. All those years teaching me how to shoot. I'm wasted. I'm stuck in the med tent. Don't be in a rush to fight, Dodgy. Glory is worth nothing when you're dead. But this fight, it matters. You matter. You and Misha are all I have left. Hey, be nice. I'm always nice.
Nisha. Mm. What you got there? Empty bottles? I'm training fresh partisans. Our comrades already know how to drink. These will be Molotovs soon. Is it wise to give explosives to civilians? Pasha, you worry too much. Oh, she's a trooper. That hurts. Eh, you do that well enough yourself. The plechka. Durin. Pigushka. Mazyol. Shaba. both of you. I'm going to be late. Sit! Now there. Isn't that nice? A real family breakfast. Bombs and bullets. Best way to start the day. You know... You're gonna get yourself killed having that old rifle in the house, Papasha. Now who is worried too much? So, the Germans are approaching the front line. Is that where you're off to? No, you told me that's not where I'd be the most useful, so... I'm training recruits at the old post office. Must be nice. Yeah, it would have been nice to have a choice on the matter. At least you get to fight. Oh, don't tell me at least. You? Watch it. You are both doing your part. Which reminds me. If any of those two Blutki get past you, you know where to send them. <laughs> of course, Papasha. They will never get through. Never. Leave. I need to run. They're waiting for me. Miss, you're... He would forget to keep his own head screwed on without us. We really are saints. Honestly. I'll make sure he gets this on the way to the med tents. You help your country much more than you know. And you make your old man proud. Spasiba, Papa. <laughs> It's been a while since I played this. You were a natural. Ah, I miss hearing you play. You say how do I... You cannot leave to be taking the... You would be crazy to stay here. You think the Germans will push into the city? Not if you're out there fighting. Milimoy, the new partisans I'm training will crush them before they get close. I believe it. Good luck out there. Polina, here to keep your brother out of trouble? Impossible. Polina. Something smells good over here. Oh, Paulina, I saved the loaf for your family. Spasiba. <laughs> You're welcome. Your father has been bothering me for some Borodinsky. Get something? You're a lifesaver. You know? We should be good. I should be going with you. You probably should. I have more practice than any of these Red Army Tabaki. Keep your voice down. You, you don't want to make enemies here. Fine. Just don't do anything I wouldn't do. Couldn't even if I tried. My aim is shit compared to yours. <laughs> uh, it's too bad we can't trade places. I would look great in that uniform. At least try to make it back from your bomb making. One piece, several pieces, it's fine. I'm pretty good at putting people back together. Man. Yes, ma'am. You've made me late again. I'll have to take the rooftops. You're gonna get yourself killed climbing around up there. I promise you can say I told you so if it happens. Now go! Go, Good 
morning. Morning, Paulina. How is your father's leg? Finally improved. Thanks. Have you been hearing? Don't worry. The Red Army will handle it. Red, be careful out there! Truck broke down. This way is blocked. Move along. The medical officer will assign you. She's down the other side of the truck. Mrs. Pat Grover, we'll need you down by the first stand. Plenty of men that need patching up today. Go ahead, join the others. Oh, God!
help your country more than you know. And you make your old man proud. Papa, <laughs> 